Welcome to Fairtrade Finder. In this video, we are going to compare EcoFlow versus Blue Eddy versus Anchor portable power stations. At this channel, we look at a lot of different portable power stations from different brands, from the ones we're talking about today to brands like Yeti Goal Zero and also Jackery. So from small to large, we're gonna look at three different models and how they compare. When total, we'll be looking at nine different portable power stations. The features that we're gonna focus on are storage capacity, output power, charging speed, outlets and ports, weight and portability, warranty and price. And before we get started, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more detailed reviews and comparisons. Now let's jump in. We're gonna look at capacity, and this is how much energy the power station can store before it needs to be recharged. You can think of capacity like fuel tank in a car. The bigger the tank, the farther you can drive before you need to refill. The capacity is measured in watt hours. So the higher the capacity in watt hours, the more energy the power station can store. Next, we're gonna look at output. This is how much electricity the power station can deliver to your devices that you connect to it, like your phone, laptop, or any gadgets. If a power station has a high output, it can power bigger devices and more devices at the same time. If it has a lower output, it might only be able to handle smaller gadgets or a few devices. Output is measured in watts. Continuous output is the amount of power that the portable power station can provide consistently over a long period of time. Surge output is a temporary burst of extra power that it can give you for very short periods of time, typically just a few seconds. Battery type lets you know the type of lithium ion cell technology that the power station uses. All of the models that we looked at use lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is the type of battery that you want in your power station because it's going to be a lot more stable, less likely to overheat your devices, and these batteries last a lot longer. So charge cycles tell you how long the power station will last. A charge cycle is one complete round of using the power station's battery from full to empty and then recharging it back to full. So in simple terms, every time you fully use up the battery and then recharge it, that counts as one charge cycle. Over time, as you go through more charge cycles, the battery's ability to hold the charge starts to slowly decrease. You'll notice this in a lot of electronics from your laptop to your smartphone. The same thing happens in a portable power station. All of these power stations also give you some form of connectivity, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Sometimes they give you both. And this allows you to monitor and control your power station remotely using your smartphone. You'll be able to download an app from the power station and you can check battery levels, output power. You can turn it off and on. You can even uh, turn on specific ports if you want to. You can also get firmware updates, improvements, and bug fixes. So now let's get into the models. Okay, that we're so we're going to jump at. in and start with small capacity power stations. So these are power stations that are ideal for casual use, like you're charging your phone or your laptop, or you're going camping, and you just need a little extra power. They're also good in emergencies if the power goes out, but you can't store, you know, enough energy to be able to power large devices or appliances. The EcoFlow River 3 Plus, the Blue Eddy EB3A, and the Anchor C300. These will be the smallest uh, power stations that we look at. The EcoFlow River 3 Plus comes in with the highest storage capacity, starts at 286 watt hours, and goes all the way up to 858 watt hours. This is significantly more expansion than what the Blue Eddy and the Anchor can offer. The Blue Eddy gives you 268 watt hours, and the Anchor gives you 288 watt hours. And those two are not expandable. In terms of output power, the EcoFlow River 3 Plus and the Blue Eddy EB3A have the highest output. You start at a continuous output of 600 watts with a surge of 1200 watts. The Anchor is half the size of those, so much less output from the Anchor C300. Charging speed. So overall, the EcoFlow River 3 Plus gives you the fastest charging. It's one hour if you're using a wall outlet, two hours if you're using solar panels, and 1.3 hours if you're using the DC car port, like the cigarette port in your car. The Blue Eddy, pretty good charging speeds, a little bit slower than the EcoFlow. It takes about 1.3 hours if you're using an AC wall outlet, two hours by solar, and three hours if you're using the cigarette port in your car. The Anchor C300 is the slowest charging overall. You can charge in about an hour using the AC wall outlet. Solar charging takes three hours. Your cigarette port in your car takes at least three hours. However, the Anchor gives you one additional way to charge and that's using the USB-C port. So that's really handy. So outlets and ports for the River 3 Plus, you get a nice selection, seven total, three AC outlets with a decent amount of power, 600 watts. You get two USB-A, your standard USB-A ports. You also get one 
fast charging USB-C. This is great for charging like your laptop. One 12.6 volt car port. You also get a 10 millisecond UPS switchover. This is an uninterruptible power supply feature. This allows you to plug in a device into the AC outlet. The device will get power from the grid. If the power goes out, the River 3 Plus will kick into gear automatically within 10 milliseconds. This is great for sensitive equipment, things that you don't want to lose power. So for the Blue Eddy EB3A, you get nine outlets and ports. You get more than you do on the EcoFlow and the Anchor in this category. You get two AC outlets, 600 watts of output, two regular USB-A ports, two 12 volt DC5521 ports. These are uh, ports are good for specialized devices like small electronics, routers, LED lights, custom adapters. You also get one fast charging USB-C, another 12 volt car port, and a wireless charging pad with 15 watts of output. You get a 30 millisecond UPS mode on this one. On the Anchor C300, you get eight outlets and ports. So it's kind of, it's right in the middle of the EcoFlow and the Blue Eddy. You get three AC outlets, only 300 watts. You get two very fast charging USB-C ports at 140 watts of output. This is great for recharging your laptop or a tablet. One regular USB-C port, a regular USB-A port, and a 12 volt car port. And you also get a 10 millisecond UPS switchover. In terms of weight, the EcoFlow and the Blue Eddy both weigh about 10 pounds, and the Anchor C300 is 9.1 pounds, so the Anchor is more lightweight. You get the same amount of warranty coverage for all three of these, which is five years. And in terms of price, the EcoFlow River 3 Plus comes in at $299, the Blue Eddy EB3A is $269, and the Anchor C300 is the cheapest at $249. These are all retail prices that are from Amazon. So how did they compare? Let's sum it up. The EcoFlow River 3 Plus gives you the largest storage capacity and the fastest overall charging speeds. The River 3 Plus and the Blue Eddy EB3A gives you the highest output. The Blue Eddy EB3A gives you the largest number of outlets and ports, and the Anchor C300 is the most lightweight and the lowest price. So moving on to medium capacity. These will be significantly larger. We're gonna look at the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus, the Blue Eddy AC180T, and the Anchor C1000. The EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus has the largest capacity. It starts at 1,024 watt hours, expandable all the way to 5,000 watt hours. The Blue Eddy AC 180T gives you 1,433 watt hours. That is not expandable. The Anchor C 1000 starts at 1,056 watt hours and is expandable up to 2,112 watt hours. Moving on to output, the EcoFlow and the Blue Eddy give you the same amount of output a continuous output at 1800 watts and surge of 3600 watts. The anchor gives you 1800 watts continuous, but only 2400 watts of surge. Charging speed. The EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus is once again overall the fastest charging. You can charge in as little as one hour using an AC wall outlet, 1.1 hours using solar. They give you two solar ports with rated at 500 watts of input each. That's how you can reach 1,000 watts of solar input. And you can charge in as little as 1.3 hours using your car port with this 800 watt uh, DC port. The Blue Eddy AC180T, you can charge in 1.2 hours using an AC wall outlet, 2.5 hours using solar, or more than 12 hours using your car's cigarette port. And the Anchor C1000, you can charge in about an hour using an AC outlet, 1.8 hours using solar, and I don't have the charging speed for the, using your car's cigarette port. Moving on to outlets and ports, the Delta 3 Plus, you get 13 total outlets and ports. You get a, a very generous selection of ways to plug in your devices. Six AC outlets. However, three of those outlets are gonna be two pin, more limited. Three of the AC outlets are three pin 30A. You get two USB-A ports. These are fast charging USB-As and two very powerful USB-C ports with 140 watts of output. You also get two 12 volt DC5521 ports for specialized device, and you get your standard 12 volt car port. However, what really makes the Delta 3 Plus stand out is you have a zero millisecond online for backing up sensitive devices. But online UPS is different from standard UPS in that it uses a double conversion technology to isolate the connected device from power outages. This is just another prevention method to make sure that your device isn't damaged if the power goes out. On the Blue Eddy AC180T, you get nine outlets and ports, four AC outlets. Uh, these are three pin, very powerful, 1800 watts of output. You get two regular USB-A, two fast charge USB-C, and then one 12 volt car port. On the Anchor C1000, you get 11 
different ways to plug in. Six AC outlets. So these are very uh, powerful. You get 1800 watts of output. Five of the outlets will be your standard um, 20A outlets. You get one 30A outlet, which is good for RV. You get two USB-A, one USB-C, pretty standard USB-C, and then one fast charging USB-C, and one 12 volt car port. And on this one, you get a 20 millisecond UPS switchover. In terms of weight, the Delta 3 Plus is the most lightweight. It weighs 27.6 pounds. The Bluetti AC180T weighs an impressive 58 pounds. It's twice the size of uh, both of these two. The Anchor C1000 weighs 28.4 pounds. In terms of warranty, once again, you get a five year coverage for all of these. And in terms of price, the Delta 3 Plus comes in as the cheapest at $899. The Bluetti AC1000T is the most expensive at $1,099. And the Anchor C1000 is right in the middle at $999. Let's sum up, how did this compare? The EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus really shines in this category. You get the largest storage capacity, fastest overall char charging, highest number of outlets and ports, cheapest priced, and the lightest weight. The EcoFlow and the Bluetti AC180T both give you the highest amount of output power. Now let's look at our large capacities. These are powerful enough to support an entire household. We are going to look at the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, the Bluetti AC500 and B300K, and the Anchor F3800. Once again, EcoFlow blows the other two out of the box with 6,144 watt hours of capacity, expandable all the way to 90,000 watt hours of capacity. This is the largest capacity power station I've seen. Let me know in the comments if they are larger than this. The Bluetti AC500 and B300K starts at 2,700 watt hours of capacity, expandable up to 33,000 watt hours. And the Anchor F3800 starts at 38, or 3,800, or sorry, the Anchor F3800 starts at 3,840 watt hours, expandable up to 53,800 watt hours. I am noticing that it seems that the Anchor often falls right in between the EcoFlow and the Bluetti. The EcoFlow is significantly more powerful. You get 7,200 watts of continuous output and 14,000 watts of surge. The Bluetti AC500 and B300K gives you 5,000 watts of continuous output with 10,000 watts of surge and the Anchor F3800 gives you 6,000 watts of continuous output and 9,000 watts of surge power. Charging speed, the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra is the overall fastest charging. For a power station of this size, of this output and capacity, this is very impressive. You can recharge in about 2.5 hours using an AC wall outlet, two hours using solar panels, and 1.5 hours using a generator. If you have a traditional gas generator, you can actually use that to charge this power station. So the Bluetti gives you pretty fast AC charging between 1.5 to 2.2 hours, a fast solar charging of 1.5 hours. However, if you wanna use your car to charge the power station, it can take upwards of 27 hours, so much slower. The Anchor F3800 charges in about 1.7 hours using a wall outlet, 1.8 hours using solar, and 32 hours using your carport. So next, outlets and ports for the Delta Pro Ultra, you get 11 total four AC outlets, very powerful output of 7,200 watts. You get two RV EV style. You get one TT30 and one LV1430. These are great ports to have for your electric vehicle or your RV. You get two regular USB-A ports, two fast charging USB-C ports, and one 12.6 volt DC5521. You also get the very handy zero millisecond online UPS switchover and 20 millisecond backup. So you can connect multiple devices to make sure that they don't lose power even if you have an outage. The AC500 and B300K, you get 16 outlets and ports. So a lot of ways to plug in your devices. You get three AC outlets, very powerful, 5,000 watts of output. You also get two RV compatible outlets at the L1430R and the TT30R. You get six USB-A ports, two fast charging USB-C and two wireless pads and 20 millisecond UPS switchover. And lastly, on the Anchor F3800, you get 12 outlets and ports, four AC outlets, again, very powerful with 1800 watts of output. You also get two RV compatible outlets, the 1430R and the 1450. You get two regular USB-A ports, 
three fast charging USB-C and one 12 volt car port and a 20 millisecond UPS switchover. In terms of weight, the Blue Eddy AC500 and B300K comes in at 131.2 pounds. The Anchor F3800 is 132.3 pounds, but the Delta Pro Ultra is a whopping 186.4 pounds. Now the Anchor and the EcoFlow both also include nice wheels, so you can wheel them around. The Blue Eddy, as far as I know, does not. Warranty, the EcoFlow and the Anchor give you the five-year coverage. However, the Blue Eddy only gives you three years of coverage. The Blue Eddy and the Anchor are the most uh, affordable of the bunch. They come in at about $39, so $3,999, basically $4,000. And the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra comes in at $5,199. How do they all compare? The EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra has the largest capacity, the highest output, fastest overall charging, especially for a power station this large. The Blue Eddy AC500 B300K gives you the most outlets and ports, so you have the most options for plugging in your devices, and it's the most lightweight. The Blue Eddy AC500 B300K and the Anchor F3800 are the cheapest price. Thanks again for watching this video. There are power station links in the video description. I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you'd like to check the, any of these out, please click a link and I make a small commission. Thanks again for watching and I'll be back soon with more videos.